Cornflowers, Part 1. <laughs> My little Merka. <laughs> My good girl, right? You're a good girl, right? I'll come back from school and bring you grass. <laughs> Olia, it's getting cold. Coming, Gran. Look, Mirka beat the target, hmm? <laughs> you woke up at the crack of dawn. Did you sleep well? Gran, you were the one who told me we'll get a chance to sleep, am I right? <laughs> get to the table. Washed your hands? I've washed them. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like an icon, hmm? You'd better drink your tea. <laughs> Don't say that. You're the only one left for me in the entire <laughs> world. You know, I give thanks to God every day for giving me such a good granddaughter. Who argues and doesn't wash her hands, right? <laughs> That's not a problem. Thank you. Here. Hmm. <sighs> oh, I wish they could see how big you've grown. Even though our relatives are gone, they still support us. It holds the world in place. You are my flower. Everything's going to be all right. Of course it is. I have to go. Thank you. Where to? You didn't need anything. That's it. Bye-bye. But you didn't need anything. Ugh. It's too early. Vasya Vershkov. Vershkov? When did he come back? He was just returning to his homeland. <gasps> Is Vasya back from the army? He's back, but to the wrong place. And when did they take him? They took him just a minute ago. Took him? Oh. How? On a stretcher, that's how. Oh. Don't worry, he's breathing. Oh. Everything's all right there. He rescued a boy. Zena's what? boy, Petya, fell uh -huh. off from the uh -huh. bridge into the river where it's deep. What's to do? No one knows. Vasya <sighs> was coming back from the army, and he jumped right into the river in his boots before my oh. very own eyes. <sighs> They were waiting. He appeared with the boy in his arms, of course. 
I helped him get to the bank. I got him on the motorcycle, and I no drove him here. Him. I brought him. A hero. A hero. Thank you, of course. But I had to do it. Not you, the hero is Fascia. But where is he? They took them both over to the clinic. They inhaled a lot of water. They're in the hospital. Right. People, you can go. You can go. Old folks, go home. Students, go to school. Everybody's alive. It's all right. Go on. <laughs> Just think. I, I mean, he fell out and he didn't even get home. <laughs> yeah, Vershkov's a cool guy. Oh. Uh, that's what everybody says. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. A real hero. Anyone would have done it in his place. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Well, of course they would. Hello. Give me the algebra. I was by Where the hospital. Vasya Verskov is back. Have you heard? Oh, oh grab me, Nina. How is it you managed to be the last to know everything, even about your precious Vasya? First, he is not mine. Second, I don't nose into other people's business, unlike you, Petrova. Hey, is my nose long too? <laughs> this is not about you. <laughs> Anna's coming. Oh, hurry up. <clears throat> hurry up, go. Hello, 9A. Take your seats. You should all know that a recent graduate of our school, Vasily Vershkov, has committed a very heroic act today. Those of you who could jump from the bridge without hesitation to save a drowning boy, raise your hands. Olya, oh, yeah. why did you raise your hand and then lower it? She would jump in after Vershkov. Not after another boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. At first, I thought that I would jump. But then I remembered my grandma. There's nothing to laugh at. As you can see, it's not so easy being a hero. <gasps> oh, Vershkov came to school after all. Vershkov's a hero! Vershkov's a hero! Maria Benina. It's time for a lesson now. I'm sorry. Take off. Addy. All right, guys, let's go. Ah. Where are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, man. All right, shall we go home? Cool. Why don't we stop by the sports ground? <sighs> no, my cousin. Come on! <laughs> That's it. Expect paparazzi. <laughs> come on. <laughs> What's this, Vasya? You just come back and you're already a hero? Don't you want some fame at all? Well, it's pleasant, of course. Yeah, it is. You did so great. Not everyone would do that. Well, thanks a lot. Well, we should all celebrate it, Vasya. <laughs> a righteous cause deserves some downtime. What are you looking at? You falling for him? Oh, yeah. Let's go, huh? A guitarist. <laughs> Grand, he's not proud at all. Everybody starts praising him, but he's very modest. As if nothing happened. Yeah. By the way, he's a real man. Like, you know how his mother left his father? He just moved in with him. Why is that? because he feels sorry for him. He moved in with his father in order to fool around. Before the army, he'd play truant, and he'll do the same now. The father drinks alone in the morning and then has a party. When he was in Eva Kino, his mother would whip his ass. All right, I'm going. I need to rehearse some more. I'm performing at the farewell bell. Oh, my dear, why would he pop up now? I hope that he leaves for his mother. Our holiday concert dedicated to the farewell bell continues with a student of the music school in the guitar class, Olya Ryabinina. She will sing a beautiful Russian folk song which she composed herself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cornflowers, cornflowers. Please welcome her. Васильки, вы мои васильки, вы лазурные прячетесь дали, нарезные свои лепестки, собирая любовь и печали, где-то там у далекой реки, в васильках мы однажды уснули, ах, за 
чем васильки, васильки, Вы надежды мои обманули. Объятий сплетался венок, Извинили цветы колокольца, И в кольцо бесконечных дорог Бросил ты обручальные кольца, Потемнела лазурная даль, Так внезапно закончилось лето, И осталась со мною печаль, Лишь печаль. Василькового цвета И осталась со мною печаль Лишь печаль Василькового цвета You played very well. Everyone applauded. Nobody needs this. They were just mocking me, that's all. Let's go to the disco. We're acting like fools. Everyone's there. When did you last see Petrakova and Galkina? You missed them, right? All right here? Uh, let's go to the hill. Come on. Why don't we go to the hill instead? I get it. <laughs> 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 we shouldn't have come here. Come on. Hello. 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 Why are you here? There isn't enough. We don't need any. We have our own, right? What do you have? Lollipops? <laughs> Come on, enough, sit down. <laughs> All right, Zana. Goodbye school, huh? Let's go. It's like I told you. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, don't be so sad. He's leaving soon anyway. Where to? To Ivakino, the automotive college. Oh, come on. Yes, he and Genka talked about it in the hall. I'm leaving school then. Are you crazy? Where to? To Ivakino. I'm taking my certificate on Monday. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's gone completely crazy over Vasya. Oh, yeah. What's that you say? You were going to the musical college after the 11th grade. I don't want to, Gran. But you've never said anything about this agricultural college. It was my secret dream, right? I've always wanted to become an agronomist. Why are you making a fool out of me? Aren't you ashamed? What in the world is this? Agronomist is a wonderful profession. I'll be planting bread, pumpkins, tomatoes, then turnips. Bread is not planted. It's baked in the oven. They'll tell me about all that in college. I know those colleges, all boys and parties. You had your fun back in your time, didn't well, you? Well, back in my time, a girl would be ashamed to come close to a boy. But everybody somehow had five children. How did they manage to do it? You'll know all about it when you get married. Grand, come on, as if I didn't know already. It's not enough to know how children are made. You also need to raise Grand, them. Grand, enough, all right? Enough what? Why are you making so much noise? Ugh. I can hear you from outside. Oh, yeah. Take a good look at this one. She withdrew her documents, and she's going to Ivankovo to study agronomy. She's abandoning music. Let her live her life. She's still so young. See? Did you hear? But why choose Ivakino? It's a hole. You'd better graduate from school and enter the university in Saratov. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. There are maniacs there. What kind of maniacs? The ones that she scared me with when I was a kid, okay? Ivakino's a hole, but it's quiet there. 
Why are you being so smart? Look at her. You think you're smart, huh? Why would you want to leave your grandma all alone? Oh, why would you leave your grandma all alone? Stop it already! Don't I have my own life? Oh. What's with her? Oh, yeah. It's bad. Hello, Maria. Hello, there. Hi, girls. Yeah, the harvest is going to be really good. Zoya, give me yeah. some sliced white bread and that shampoo for young hair. It's two dollars. Oh. Genka, isn't that too much for one? This isn't for me, Auntie Maria. We're sending Vasya off to the automotive college. Ah, he's going to enter fine with five bottles. His mother has connections in Ivakino. They'll accept him without exams, especially after the army. Uh, hold on, did Vasya make peace with his mother? I think so, that's what he says. To Eva Kino, where's the automotive college there? It's new. It's next to the sauna, opposite the agricultural college. Huh? Agricultural college? <sighs> yeah. Oh, who is Vasya leaving his father with? He'll drink himself to death alone. Oh, go on. <laughs> Auntie! Auntie, don't forget the shampoo! Gran, what happened? So I know you're going to that goddamn college because of him. Because of whom? Because of your hero, that's What are who. you talking about? I just want to live my own life, okay? No, what are you talking about? What are you doing, you silly girl? Wrecking your entire life because of a handsome guy. A zero hero. Gran, don't... don't take offense, okay? No, oh. leave me alone. Gran, you know how much I love you. I don't even want to see you. Gran, it's so important for me. Come on. <laughs> you were the one who said that everything would be all right. Oh. Yeah? And I'm going to visit you, hmm? You fool. A fool. Mm -hmm. My little girl, what oh. am I going to do by myself here without you? We're going to be you? all right. How is it going to be all right now? I don't understand. Where's the delegation from the auto school? After all, we've been given new mansions. <laughs> Where else would they be? The wine house. Oh, by the way, the repairs could have been better in the mansion. And Vasya's here. Where is he? Where? You can guess. Vera has no roommate yet, so they are totally intimate. Oh, Yes, really? a traveling woman. <laughs> They're all going to follow him to her now. Ladies, of course I must apologize. Yeah? I'm going there too. I need to reorganize my personal life. <laughs> wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> awesome. Look at How you! This? Take a look. Here, here it is. Like Take a, a look. fashion magazine. Awesome. You spent all your money on this. Well. Tell the truth. <laughs> you should have bought an iron instead. It's no use anyway. Your car mechanic is already fixing Vera as we speak. Come on, Sonia. You're right. Don't listen to her, Olia. He just came to visit her. Uh-huh. That's all. Doesn't suit you. No, she's hitting on him, true. But it doesn't mean anything, does it, Olia? Yeah, right. It doesn't matter. He never looks at anyone else but her. Well, he's going to look now. Good girl. 
You need to fight for your happiness. Oh, it's easy for you to talk. You've invited some Petya for yourself. He's not some Petya, by the way, a businessman, and he sells floor moldings. Really? Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he make a repair around here? We'll see. Let him sit for the entourage. He won't make it worse. <laughs> well, okay. And now, a new dorm room is a new life. Let's make some wishes. <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea what else to do to make him look at her. She makes her wishes. The whole floor knows her intentions. <sighs> Who needs to have a love like that? Apparently she needs it, Larissa. Love's different for everyone. I couldn't care less about such love. Are you coming? Everything's ready. Let's go. Oh. Yours. Oh. Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Hello there, Julia. Petya. I'd like you to meet Larissa and Olia. Nice to meet you. There are a lot of us here. You won't remember everyone. Nice everyone's. to meet you. Look, Olia, take him to the room, please. Be right there. Sure, of course. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Watch out, or Olia will poach your molding guy with that hairdo of hers. <sighs> I'm not going to marry him. I just want her to forget Vasya. I'll go visit Vera. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> Cheers! The housewarming. Oh, the housewarming. Mm. <laughs> the housewarming. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> the housewarming. The housewarming. Congratulations. The housewarming. Julia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers. The housewarming. <laughs> Oh. Well, let's eat, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, but who are you here for? Right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they're screaming loud. They're celebrating. They're housewarming, too. <laughs> hmm. Is this where you live, Olya? Are you asking us all, or just Olya? <laughs> well, no. I mean, I know that you live here. <laughs> Actually, I live here, too. I live here, too. We're the best of friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are enemies, I take it, right? <laughs> it's difficult there, Petya. But you'd better not ask Olya about Yulia, it. Yulia, don't. So, all right. We are drinking, right? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Look at him. He's serving her again. Uh, Julia. Julia, stop uh, it, all right? Look, I'm going to spoil your hair now. <laughs> Julia! <laughs> you go. <laughs> Julia, enough! <laughs> no use. It's even better now. <laughs> Where are you going? For a smoke. It was just a joke. <laughs> Here you are. Yulia, what's wrong? <sighs> it's okay, don't bother. It was for no reason, really. I'm not so into him, Olia. Girls, I'm coming. Deserters aren't welcome. Non-smokers have no say. What are you even doing here? Went out to get some fresh air. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yulia, why aren't you coming? Come on, bring your guys. It'll be cool. No, you'd better come to us. We have French meat growing stale. Bring it to us. It won't get stale. <laughs> All right, we'll see. <laughs> Listen, we should drop by. Well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, now, Dobrenko, huh? <laughs> cheers. Check it out, you guys. Here? We'll pour another oh, listen, one. Before she comes, huh? We'll oh. All right, cheers. <laughs> toast. Let's toast. Oh. Go on. Ch -ch 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 so you're toasting to Larissa, huh? OK, Vera, OK, Vera, okay. get interrupted oh, me. I actually wanted to toast to all women in general. Where? Where are the other women? Here are the other women. Number one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh
<laughs> Come on. And number three. There's another three. beauty. <laughs> Dima, oh, this one's yours. Oh. Yes, I am. No, no, no. Right here. I, I'd like another one. No, I'm coming. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, for God's sake, I, mean, I want okay, this one. Uh, this is good. How are you? Everything all right? I know. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's really good. You get some too. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, who is this girl? This is a new girl from the act school. What's your name again? Ah, uh, you went to our school, didn't you? Yes. I was in the ninth grade. I'm Olya. That's right. There was a concert and you performed there, sang with a guitar. Yeah. Listen, can you play something for us, please? Yeah, sure. Let me get my guitar. All right. Look, don't mess around, all right? What would you like to drink? Uh, champagne's good. Oh, come on. What champagne? Let's have vodka. Vodka. Hooray! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Cheers! Cheers! It's all right. Come over here. Here. Girls, let's go to your place. Please, let's go to your place. Leave it. I'm <sighs> celebrating the housewarming. With the guard? I celebrate it with whoever I want. All right. Vasya, where are you going? Home. Vasya, hold on, please. I just need a second, okay? Don't go yet. All right. Okay. <sighs> Why aren't you going home yet, Vasya? Oh, look at her. Hey, brother, hold the guitar. Hold it for a second, would you? bothering you? No, of course not. <laughs> it's just you promised to play something. Yeah, all right. Oh, I have my own guitar. <laughs> well, let's go. 
Rushing upstairs. I'm telling you, he went to her. <laughs> He's not gonna get away. He loves me. <laughs> He'll come back like a puppy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's beautiful. Are there any words? Well, yes, but they're a work in progress. Go on. Just don't laugh, okay? Okay. Two одиноких сердца есть где-то на планете, а между ними море, а между ними ветер. А сердце словно воздух, любовь необходима. Два одиноких сердца мечтой живут единой. Мы однажды встретимся, чтоб узнать друг друга. That's all I've got, so that's it. Uh... И не помешают нам ни дожди, ни вьюга. Мы однажды встретимся там, где звезды светятся, там, где мы найдем с тобой нашу, нашу любовь. любовь. Come on, let's toast to your song. It's more like our song. Let's drink to brotherhood. Vasya, wait. Uh, Hold on. You had your birthday recently, and also there's, there's this postcard, and... Vasya, where have you been, baby? I'm such a silly fool. I'm sorry. You know that I need nobody else but you. Listen, I, I, I want to talk to you. I, I. Let's go, okay? I'm so tired. I had a bit too much to drink. Yeah, well, I told you. Yeah, you're right, baby. Yeah, you're right. Let's go now. Let's go. I've got something to show you. Ooh, 
Ooh, look what love does to people. <laughs> Don't wear a hole in it, okay? <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Good morning, good morning. Listen. I think they had a thing. So we'll deal with it. It's open. Who in the world is it out there? Auntie Maria, this is urgent. What happened? Well, you know, there were holidays. I'm out of money. Give me a little, or I'll die. I promise, I'll, I'll pay it back before the Antonich. end of May. You were a decent man once upon a time. You used to raise bees, and you had a motorcycle with a sidecar. Hmm? Well, the bees flew away. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the bike has to have fuel, too. Here you go. Thank you. Could you give me more? What are you talking about? Well, the bike needs a little fuel, too. Antonich, it was your conscience that flew away and not the bees. I'm hardly getting by on my own. Go away already. Uh, I'd have a cigarette. And I bet some champagne, too, perhaps? I'll get it. Go now, smoker. He wants a cigarette. I won't let you in until you breed your bees and start your motorcycle. Don't come back here. Grandma, what bees? It's me, Olya. Oh, my dear. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. You're grown up so big. Eat the cherry. Mm-hmm. And the apple. Gran, I can't eat all three at once. And so, have the love plants started blooming yet? I have. I got an A in botany. Only one exam to go. What about the rest? An A in Russian? That's not what I mean. I'm talking now. I'm talking about your love. Olya. Olya, what's wrong? Thank you, Gran. I'm not hungry. Olya. Oh, my darling, what has happened? What's the matter? What? 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 Didn't it work out? <gasps> Oh, would you like to stay here? Oh, my poor little girl. <laughs> oh, my darling baby girl. Good morning, kids. Good morning. 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 Have a seat. All right, guys, my name is Kim Arnoldovich, Vera Fedorovna is ill. Therefore, I'm going to lead the class until the end of the semester. And most importantly, administer your exam. Excuse me, may I come in? Yes, you're welcome. What is your name? Olya Riabinina. You shouldn't be late for your seminar, student Riabinina. The theme of today's seminar will be Anti-erosion melioration. Where have you been? My gran was sick. I came straight from the bus. Mm-hmm. So you don't know? Basia left the college. He has a contract in the army. What? When? The guys are seeing him off at the station right now. Yulia, why aren't you saying anything? And you shouldn't talk either. 
Shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. Ria Binina. What? As far as I can see, you don't want to be admitted for your exams. Ria Binina, where are you going? Ria Binina. Hey. <laughs> mom, <laughs> mom. My son, my son. Ah, why are you crying? A year's no big deal. You won't even uh -huh. notice. Hey. Take care of yourself. Hold up. Come on! I'm gonna write you. Write to his boss! Go on! Hey, all you. Hello there. What an encounter, right? Do you need a ride? I'm driving. No, thanks. I'd rather take a walk. You sure? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. In that case, I'll see you. Mm-hmm. It was really nice seeing you, Olya. So long. So long. Municipal Polyclinic. You didn't have a fever? No, I don't think I did. I just felt dizzy and sick. Other than that, everything is all right. In that case, young lady, you shouldn't see me. Who then? The gynecologist. The office across the hall. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Your handbag. Don't forget your handbag. Right. Well, so? Did they prescribe anything? Yeah, they did. May I come in? Why are you hiding there? Come on out now. You're pregnant. Take a seat. Oh, calm down now. You'll be all right. Mm. When did it happen? Uh, in the middle of March. That would make this the third month, then. You're not married, I take it. It's all right. It happens. Where's the father? My father died. He and my mother were in a car crash. I am terribly sorry about that. But I'm talking about a different father, about your future kid's dad. In the army. You let him know. You can write him a letter. Perhaps they'll send him on leave. I don't even know the address. Oh, calm down now. Don't be sad about it. Come back here in a few weeks, and we'll follow up to see how the fetus is growing. All right? Thank you. Olya, I have to warn you. You can't have an abortion. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. Well, take a look. How do you like them? They're cool, right? I just bought them. Why are you like this? What has happened? Sonia, I'm pregnant. Oh, come on. Who's the father? It's Vasya. There, I told you. Didn't I tell you guys? 
And so you didn't don't believe me. About you it. I knew it. Does he know yet? No. I want to write him, but I don't know where. Don't worry, we'll find it out. His mother's here, remember? made a mistake. I was looking for Rima and Drevna. No. Sadly, it's not a mistake. Come on in. Come in, come in. You should. No, you have to have an abortion. How? Oh, but you said before that I couldn't have an abortion. First of all, I didn't say such words. Don't misinterpret. There often are certain nuances, but it's not lethal. And second, you had such a sad look on your face, as if you would run right out and abort. I supported you at that moment. I didn't know that you were playing an orphan from the village. My son is a very decent boy. <laughs> I can very well imagine how it all happened, my dear. What can you imagine? He has a girlfriend and he loves her. And you just used your opportunity to get him into your bed so he'd fall for you. That's it, I'm aware of your country methods. I bet you thought, let's register right after the hayloft. What are you talking about? Don't interrupt, listen to me. Tomorrow you'll come to the polyclinic and I'll arrange everything for you. For free. You certainly have no money. I'll do it myself if needed. But Vasya won't be trapped. Do you understand? Tomorrow. And no funny business, or I'll give you hell. Keep in mind the entire town comes to me. You'll get kicked out of everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, my leg hurts so much. Be a good girl and bring the letters to the other girls. Sure, Auntie Valia. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. Vera, there's a letter. I'm doing my nails. Will you open it for me? Oh, can you also read it? I'm gonna spoil my manicure. Is that too hard to do? Calm down, girl. I've got no secrets here. Hello, Vera. I can finally write to you from here, sitting in the kitchen. You won't believe it, but I've learned to cook here. When I come back, I'll make a dinner that will amaze you. Yeah, he's a cook now, sure. What a laugh. Read the next part. I love you, I'm sending you kisses and waiting for a date. Everything will be really great. We'll get married and call our daughter Vasya. <laughs> yes. Anyway, then he says, what are you doing, what is it? And I say, that's all there is, Misha. And he goes, come on, Yulia, let's go somewhere. Olia, oh, yeah, what is it? It's all right, Yulia. Thank you. 
No, I can see it. No, it's all right, really. It's just the mood. You're sure? Did something happen? I'm sure. Everything's fine. Well, thank God. I'll be going then. Mm -hmm. Don't make yourself crazy. I'll bring you cookies. Listen, I need help. Let me try. <laughs> Maybe the lock is broken? No, the key is inserted on the other side. We had it already. Helia! Yeah. Knock, she's sleeping after the exams. Knock, come no, on. No, she's a very light sleeper. I know that for a fact. Listen, she didn't look like herself today. Break it down. doing, you fool? Uh, did you think of the baby? What the hell happened? Oh, God. Let's call a doctor. All right, girls. There's no need for a doctor. Go, go and have a smoke. <laughs> Pasha, thank you. Oh, you silly girl. You didn't think about me, of course. You don't care about me. I thought of everything, Yulia. It's still an abortion. Vasya wrote it in his letter to Vera that he loves her. And he'd kill the baby. I would too. All right. You're not the first. You'll do it and no one will find out. Your Vasya is not the salt of the earth. What else are you going to do? <laughs> Thank you, Yulia. Oh, God. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who are you waiting for? The doctor will be here at 5. I'm Olya Riabanina. I have an appointment with Rima and Drevna at 3. It's the abortion, right? Yeah. Hold on a second. She told me about you. I'll find her and walk you to the operating room. Thanks a lot. Right. Up there. Right. Up there? That's where we needed to go. Yeah, no problem. And here. Yeah, we can uh, put it on the floor right here. Very good. No problem. Hm. Oh, uh, excuse me for one second, please. Hey, Olya. Hello, Petya. Why are you here? Are you sick? Yeah, just a little preventative. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello, Olya. Hello there. Hi. Excellent. Take her to the operating room and get her ready. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Come with me. Right. Hold on. Uh, excuse us, please, ma'am. Olya, can I talk to you a minute? Uh, yeah, of course. I'll be waiting in the operating room. Can we talk about this? Oh, are you crazy? What can I do, Petya? <laughs> I know it's terrible, but... Look, you don't want to keep it, right? I can see in your eyes that you don't. No, I don't. I know that I'm going to blame myself, but... Petya, you'd better go. You have work to do. Oh, yeah, what work could there be when such things are happening? Don't worry about me. Look at me. Let's make a deal right now that you won't do such a thing, okay? Olga? I don't know. 
Petya, don't you see I'm alone in this situation? So what? What? Olga. Olga, listen. You're not alone. I'm always nearby. Thank you for that, of course. Only... Only one thing. Oh, yeah. Will you marry me? What? Will you marry me? I'm begging you. I fell for you the moment that I saw you. Oh, yeah? Why don't you say something? From the bottom of my heart. Petya, what about the baby? The baby? What about it? We don't have to tell anybody. Who would care? What if it's our baby, Olya? Petya, it's all... so strange. You're very good and kind. Petya, I don't know. I need to think about it. Olya, take all the time you need. I'm not rushing you. Let's just leave this place now, okay? And forget the road here, all right? Okay? Mm-hmm. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. What's the matter? I'd like to see Olya Ryabinina. Which room is she in? She's in room 23. Why her? Nothing. I just need to see her. Stand back. What's the matter? I want to know. Hold on a minute. It's a delicate matter. Ah, wait here then. Larissa! Yeah? Tell Ria Benina to come downstairs. There's some delicate lady here looking for her. Wait. Yes. I thought that we had an agreement about everything. Are you going to keep silent? I understand. A free abortion is not enough for you. You've decided to earn a bit, right? Are you judging by yourself? Ah, oh, we're so noble. All right, then. What's the matter, then? What happened? I need to know. Tell me. Well, nothing has happened. The thing is, I'm getting married. Married? That's interesting. What was all that performance for, then? Why did you blackmail me with your pregnancy? Can't you think of anything else? No one blackmailed you, Rima and Drevna. I'm sorry for you. <sighs> hold on, hold on, stop right there, wait a minute. You started all of this. Oh, I see. You don't know who the father is, and you're choosing who to hook up with. It didn't work out, so you found another option. Isn't that so? I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm having Vasya's kid. And I'm marrying the man who loves me, that's all. She settled down, a betrayed little orphan. Have you heard the latest gossip? Where are you gonna eat today? Greetings, college ladies. Hello. Hello, Olya. Hello, Petya. I'm early today. I have an idea. I want to throw a company party to celebrate commissioning the object. We're going to the cafe and then to the disco. Huh? Petya, what disco in my condition? Moreover, it's all up in smoke. Have you forgotten? I'm about to become a mother. Pity. I wanted to introduce you to my friends. Are you going somewhere, too? Yes, I'd like to visit my grandma. Oh. Well, all right. In that case, I'll drive you there. Petya, there's no need, really. Don't you want to introduce me to your grandma? I want to explain it all first. All right, I understand. Mm-hmm. Well, well then, fine. I'll be going now. I need to go buy some wine. All right. All right. Well, bye-bye. Bye. Petya, I have 20 minutes to the bus. Oh, yeah. 
I can't just leave like this. Uh, let me walk No you need, the bus. really. I have a light bag. I'm fine. At least the bus stop then. All right? <laughs> okay. That's it. Let's go. All right. Let's go. After you. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. oh, what the hell are you doing? Do you want to kill me, you creep? Ha, Olya, is it you? Who else would it be? <laughs> Hello, Auntie Nera. Taking a ride? He borrowed logs from me in the winter, and now I'm exploiting him back. Will you look at her? What the district center does to people. Oh, you've become so beautiful. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. If only I was younger. Ugh. If only you were younger. You were younger a hundred years huh? ago. Get going. Let's go. It's what's ahead that counts. <laughs> what I have had is none of your concern. You'd better give Maria what you owe her, too, huh? Why do you think I stopped? The spring is over already. Huh? <laughs> take it, take it. But thanks to her for me. And let's go. Let's go. Hey. I need to get home. Hang in there, old go girl. On. Step Ugh. inside. Where is he? There's just girls here. Gran, he's right here on the left. Where? Put your glasses on. Here. Oh. What? Now, didn't I tell you to just stay at home? What is all of this? He's not very serious, is he? Gran, well, he's a very serious person. He has his own repair company. He's not an airheaded guy. Well, I don't know, but... It takes a great soul to accept a, another man's baby as his own. Well, he has that, Gran. Don't look at him here. We were fooling around. Ah, fooling around. Mm -hmm. Enough fooling around. What does the doctor say? The doctor? It's developing. <laughs> it's developing. <laughs> what can I say, granddaughter? If he's a positive, mm -hmm. a serious type of person, does he love you? He does love me. Mm-hmm. Love comes with practice, right? What is this? You will endure and fall in love. Hello. Maria Nikolaevna? In the flesh. And you must be Petya. In the flesh. Nice to meet you. Come on in, then. Thank you. Hey, Thank Olya. you for coming. Well, come on in, then. Maria Nikolaevna, I'm sorry. I I'm just here for a minute. I I'm in a hurry. Is it OK if we leave right away? Won't you even come in the house? Next time, we'll say for sure, but not right but now. But why not? Business. Olya and I are going to need a lot of money now, right? Money's a good thing. Of course. I just need a moment. Yeah, go on, go on. Tell me something. Do you love my girl? Of course I love her. For real? For real. Don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. Goodbye, Marie. Call me when you get there. All right, let's go. Okay. Bye. Goodbye.
Hello. Hello. Hey, Dad. Here she is. This is Olya. I had guessed that. Oh, yeah, it's very nice to meet you. I'm Roman. Here you go. Come in, Olya. Hello. No, don't take your shoes off. Come on in. Right. Give me your jacket. Mm -hmm. Mom? Mom? Tonichka? Where are you, Tonichka? Do you really need me so much? Don't complain mm. if the meat is overdone then. <laughs> I certainly won't complain. <laughs> she wants to meet you very much, and she's worried about the steak. She is. Not at all. I'm not worried about the steak. But I am worried about Petya. There's no reason to be worried about Petya, since he chose such a wonderful girl. Well, <laughs> appearances can be deceiving sometimes. Right, Olya? My name is Antonina Yakovlevna. Olya. Hello. Hello. Is that short for good afternoon? Mom. What? I'm just wondering. Oh, no, 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 no. This is an outdated form. Oh, no, this is just a vernacular. <laughs> Excuse me. I used to teach Russian language. Feel free to ask me anything. <laughs> I'm done with Russian. I only have literature left. <laughs> Done with Russian. Well, this is what I would have expected. <laughs> At least the literature is left, right? <laughs> Tonichka. <laughs> what now? The meat. Please come in. Come in. Come in. Let's go. It's going well. Of course. There. Thank you. I've never conversed with an agronomist. <laughs> to a future agronomist. To a future one, all right. And by the way, we wouldn't have tasted even half of these dishes without hard workers from the fields. Am I right, Olya? Right. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I wanted to be a musician, not an agronomist. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. What instrument did you play? Balalaika? <laughs> Why the balalaika? In the country, people play the accordion and the harmonica. I learned to play the guitar. Mm. So my guess was almost right. <laughs> I simply adore it when I can hear a folk orchestra play. Oh, come on. I'm tired of your folk ensemble. Well, Olya, what are your plans? Oh, Mom, I already mm. told you. But I would like to hear it from the head of the family. Actually, the man is the head of the family. That's not how it is in our family. I'm kidding. <laughs> so what? I've told Petya already. It would be good to go and live in the village. I have a house there, and my grandma's there. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's nice. Such interesting plans. Well then, plans can always be adjusted. Right? Oh, yeah, my mom is very kind, too, actually. Mm. I would be really happy if you could love them. How's that sound? I just hope that they will love me, Petya. Well, yeah. Oh! Oh, <laughs> take care. Well, well okay. Mm. Bye. Petya, someone's going to see us. Oh, yeah, come on, what's the matter? Petya, no. It's uncomfortable. Would you like to go in? I'm tired. It's late now. I feel weak. Maybe it's because of the nerves. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow, all right? Okay. Bye-bye. Mm. So long. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Everything that's left after the last oh year. Oh, my God.
Sick of this countryside. <sighs> I don't know. I really like the girl. So what if she's from a village? We're not royals either. What's good about it? I don't know. I think it's a tragedy. What kind of tragedy, Antonina? She's a very good girl. By the way, Kulyaev's daughter liked Petya. I could pile up orders for Petya's company from Kulyaev. <clears throat> well, lots of orders are good, of course. <sighs> but without love, Tonichka, no orders will make a man happy. Oh, God, I understand everything. <laughs> he doesn't care much about me now. Well, then so be it. <laughs> Let him bring her. <laughs> but no villages, understand? Everything must be under control, Roman. <laughs> and for now... They'll live with us. Thank you. They're so beautiful. Just like in Grandma's front yard. Are you tired? A little. <laughs> Give me your bag. Mm. Let's go. Good afternoon. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Good Please, afternoon. Have a seat. Sit down. Mm. Thank you. Would you like some ice cream? Okay. Hold this. All right. What a caring husband. Well done. Is that a kind of a digment for me? <laughs> <laughs> We're not married yet. And we've already been divorced. Uh, about ten years ago. I thought he had someone else, and so I suffered terribly. I didn't show up at the court's first session. Got divorced the second one. And a month later, he proposed to me again. By no means, I said. And I stayed with him. This very morning, he proposed to me once again. And what I said was, I needed to think. <laughs> I'm going to the registry. Thanks very much. You know, I'm a little bit worried that you said I, not we. Here, Here have this, go. Olya. Hmm? Thank you, my dear. Have you rested a little? Yes. Well, maybe we'll go then. They'll have a break in the registry office. Let's go. That's terrific. Mm. All the best. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Stay healthy. Thank you. How are the windows, Rita? Oh, now we know how life looks. Thanks so much for that. You're welcome. All right, I filled in the details. The registration is two months after the application. But I have a spare slot for you. Would you like to register in a week? No, thank you. Why not, Olya? What's up? No, let's get it done properly. Hmm. Well, all right. As you prefer. Here's your ticket. Uh-huh. Thank you, Rita.
Julia, why are you like this? You were the one who said walking is good. We've applied now. Did something happen? Oh, yeah. What? Thank you, Auntie Polia. But Mirka's alone now. Mirka and the hens will have to be sold. You know, I want to return to the village. You really do, Olia? <sighs> I love cornflowers so much. That's so right. That's right. You'll go and finish your studies, give birth, and then come back to stay. You have a house, you have everything, and we're here. We'll all help you. As for Mirka, we can definitely give her to Antonich. Won't he sell her? Not in a lifetime. <laughs> he chases his vodka with milk. Mm -hmm. Will you eventually go live in the village with Petya? Mother's against it. Right. That's all right, we'll deal with it. That's right, you will. That's how we Riabinians do. <laughs> You're so much like your dad. Come on, come on. Get up. I'm trying to remember. And I can't do it. You won't be able to remember anything now. Come on, get up. I'll walk you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You sit down. I remember. Olya. Hmm? Olya, did you give that money to Grandma? I forgot. She made me get to the table as soon as I came. I'll pay her back in the afterlife then. Well. Mm -hmm. oh, poor devil, let's mm. go home. Come on, come on, get up. Get up. Thank you, Auntie Polia. Goodbye. Hold on. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Petya for organizing everything. Forget it, Olga. Why wouldn't I do it for my bride? <sighs> Your bride. It's so strange. Why is that strange? Olya, will you marry me? I will, Petya. Petya. Yes. Let's live in the village. Why not? Come on. If you want to, we'll stay. <laughs> sure. I like it here. There's lots of space. It's only an hour's ride to work in Ivakino. It's a great idea. Our mom won't give you the car. And by train, it's... I'll tell you a secret. Uh, she promised me a car for our wedding. For our wedding? Yes. Uh, for any wedding, I mean. <laughs> Olia, dear. Olia, dear, salt is the white death. Antonina, you call both salt and sugar the white death. Can't we talk about something nice instead? I understand. I was nervous before my wedding, too. What's the matter now? What wedding is it now? 
There haven't been 40 days. Moreover, I'm going to give birth soon. I'd like a normal wedding. A normal wedding, my dear girl, is before the pregnancy. Don't worry so much. You can have your wedding whenever you want. After the labor, maybe. What wedding would it be with the belly? Mm. <gasps> what is it? I think it's starting. Oh, girl. Oh, my God, her water's broke. <laughs> Roman! Roman! <gasps> Roman! What is it? Roman, get the car here! Get it but now! Where right to? now! Where to? Uh, the maternity house, you idiot! Oh, here are our guys. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, dear. Good job. Congratulations. Oh, my son. Congratulations, oh, my baby girl. Oh, you're such a nice girl. Uh, yeah. My golden girl, yeah. my Good Vikusha. Job. Yeah. Oh, my dear Vikusha, my Vikusha, my Vikusha. Yes, my dear. Oh, Actually, her name's not Vikusha. It's Elena. What Elena? She's Vikusha. Girl, we talked Antonina, about Antonina, what's this? the difference? Look how beautiful she is. Yes. Good job, you're guys. So <laughs> my <so> roommates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, thank you for coming. Congrats. Oh, my goodness. Thanks. Oh, look, ladies, oh my God. She's so ladies, great. we have to celebrate this thank now. Thank you. We have to celebrate oh, it now. There we go. All what right. is this? No need. Stop it. Oh, it starts. Oh. Enough of this folk orchestra. Let's do it at home. At home. All right. Goodbye, girls. Home it is. Good luck. Goodbye. 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 All right, girls. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'll visit you later. Of course, Olia. It's all right. Bye-bye. So long. See you. Bye. Yeah, I'm glad I left Petty alone. I'd go crazy with a mother-in-law like that. Where are you going? Girls. Get back here right now. I'm sorry, please. Drink to us. Thank you. I'm so sorry. All right. Goodbye, good luck, you. and thank you. Hush, 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 Elena. It's only an hour left. What hour? We'll be home in five minutes, and you'll put her to bed. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah. We decided to live in our house for a while. Who is we? Petya, you promised me we'd live in the village. Well, it's inconvenient. You know, well, Petya'd have troubles getting to work, and we'll have to show the girl to the doctors to check out. Right? She's premature. Petya, where is the bed? We'll buy it tomorrow. It's bad luck to do it in advance. Petya, how is it in advance? I gave birth three days ago. Hmm? There were days off, Olya. Don't worry. Shh, shh. Don't worry. Did you buy diapers at least? I'll go get them. Petya, what about napkins? <sighs> I'll go ask my mom. Petya, you're not supposed to ask anyone. <laughs> Have you bought the rattle at least? Damn it. I forgot the rattle too. I get it. At least the girls gave me the rattle. And the napkins. All right, Olya, don't be nervous. It's the most important thing, the most important. Everything else is tiny. These aren't tiny. Your child has no carriage, no anything. What's happening? Oh, my baby girl. Oh, 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 what's happening? Mommy's showing her teeth and yelling at Daddy, right? Oh, my golden girl, my little golden girl. You're so cute. Mommy's not showing her teeth. Petya just forgot to buy a bed, and I don't know mm -hmm. where we're going to sleep. Where's Mommy sitting now? Huh? Isn't this bed enough for her? Isn't it? Huh? It's your fault, by the way. You did us a number on the head with your village. Where you would live was a last-minute decision. You shouldn't get mad at Petya. We'll buy you a bed. We will. He's under double stress now. What kind of stress? Could you at least tell him to buy some diapers? All right, enough. I'll go to the shop and buy everything. Shh. 
Petya. Petya. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down, Petya. Olya. 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 Our little mother, Olya. huh? Finding her treasure, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. I'm sorry, my daughter just fell asleep. Could you please all tone it down? Yeah. Your daughter-in-law <laughs> is already giving orders. She's all right. What is all right about her? Don't be ridiculous. Everyone can see it. Just look at how Olya changed right after the labor. She used to be so soft, and now she's a real witch. What can I do? Well, I don't know. Do something. You're a grown man. You said it about who is the head of the family. Can't you understand a joke, huh? You know, Mom, I'm not into jokes. Are you out of your mind? Like your father? One man like that is enough. Stop bugging me. How are you talking to your mother? <laughs> Don't worry about it, son. It's all right. Oh, dear, forget it. Let it be. It's for the happiness. What happiness can it be, Mom? What kind of happiness? How come? Look, Petya, you've got a daughter. But she's not my daughter, Mom. She's not mine. What are you saying? Repeat what you are talking about. Roman! Oh, he's asleep. Don't wake him. P Petya. Petya, tell me. Whose child is it? Tell your mother. Whose baby is I it, I don't Petya? know, Mom, okay? I really don't know. Okay. Stay right here. Baby, is it? I'm asking you, whose baby is it? This is not Petya's child. You're going to tell me. What a bitch you are. Mom, don't do that. I told you where to sit. Well, it's my fault. I should have thought about it before. Go to the kitchen. I know who's right and who's wrong in this. Take your rags with you. Don't ever set foot in here again, you! Bags to me, come on. Ah. <sighs> Yulia. Mm. Have you cried enough, girl? On my way here. That's right. Why waste time? Have some potatoes. Yulia, I'm not hungry. Come on, come on. You need to eat. Where are the girls? Luckily for you, Sonia's getting married. Oh. She took a gap year. Uh, Larissa.